So to make the enchilada sauce, I have um, ground beef, one pound of ground beef. I have some cheddar cheese. I have some minced onions, some green chilies, a little bit of hot sauce for flavor, and taco seasoning and green enchilada sauce. You can use the red one. I, I only had this on hand, so I'm using the green one today. So this is the fixings for our enchilada sauce. So let's go ahead and start the recipe. Let's begin. I'm going to add the meat to the pan and I'll just go ahead and brown the meat. Okay, at this point, um, it's been five minutes since the beef has been cooking and um, it, uh, what you'll do at this point is drain the um, fat off of the meat and which I already did. I just did that and now I'm going to add the minced onions and mix that in. I'm going to add the green chilies. That's going to give it excellent flavor. Mix that in. I'm going to go ahead and add the spice. Our taco seasoning. You want to look at the um, carb count on the taco seasoning that you buy. You can also make your own. And I have a recipe for a homemade taco um, seasoning that you can make. And I'll post it on the website. This way you have more control of the carbs that go into the meat. Just put some of the hot sauce. Mix that in. I'll let this cook for another five minutes on a medium flame and I'll be right back. Last step to making our, um, the sauce, I'm just going to put some, some of the cheese in the beef mixture. Just mix that in. I use about a half a cup of the cheese. Yeah, and it's done. In the next clip, you'll see me putting everything together. Okay, so here's our dish we'll be using, and I'm just going to put some of the enchilada sauce on the bottom. Not a lot, just a little bit, and just spread it around. Just like that. Then I'm going to just set this aside and go ahead and make the enchiladas. Okay, so now I'm going to just go ahead and build the enchilada. I'm just going to put, I would say about two tablespoons of meat. And then I'm going to kind of like roll it, kind of like how you would do an enchilada. And I will just lay it on the dish like that. Again, about two tablespoons full, and just kind of give it one roll, roll it over, and lay it next to the other one. So you guys get the hang of it, you know, you just roll it over and try to keep it together as much as you can. Okay, so this is what it looks like. I kind of messed up on this one. It kind of broke, but it'll be fine. And what I'll do at this point is put this sauce all over. Make sure every single piece gets the enchilada sauce. And like I said before, you can use the red sauce. I only had the green one on hand, so that's why I'm using it. Just sprinkle the cheese all over. Spread it out a little bit. Okay, so that's about it. And now I'm going to just go ahead, stick it in the oven, and I will be right back with the finished product. Okay guys, so that's what the finished product looks like and I'm going to go ahead and dish this out. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, dish this out. 